importance of your medicine's child. What is unique about this study? Well, uh, I think this is a, a, an important study because for the first time we are attempting to address the uh, uh, safety, but more than that, the efficacy of uh, an adult uh, stem cell type, which are uh, bone marrow derived autologous, meaning derived from uh, patients, uh, 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 stem cells. And uh, when we say we would like to address and demonstrate efficacy, we mean that we would like to show whether or not mesenchymal stem cells can uh, inhibit inflammation leading to uh, uh, the uh, disruption of uh, uh, electrical uh, activities in nerves uh, damaged by multiple sclerosis, but at the same time we hope uh, to have an add value which is the possibility to demonstrate that stem cells can also foster repair and uh, indeed induce some level of uh, uh, tissue repair. And this is uh, something quite unique because so far most of the drugs uh, uh, that are very effective in many cases for the treatment of multiple sclerosis were never been able to show any evidence of tissue repair. Yes. Uh, well, there have been several and there are ongoing uh, studies in stem cells in MS. So what is particularly unique about or special about your study? Well, this is, uh, uh, it, it is true that there are several, uh, there have been already a few studies uh, uh, using uh, uh, mesenchymal stem cells or autologous stem cells, I mean, uh, or hematopoietic stem cells, but nevertheless, this is the first phase two trial. So this has been designed in a way that we will have uh, the statistical power to demonstrate or not if these cells are working. And I think this is, a, uh, I think is an ethical duty we have uh, uh, toward the uh, patient's community and also toward the scientific community because uh, there have been a lot of rumors and controversies uh, about the, the, the utility of, uh, uh, the usefulness, sorry, of uh, mesenchymal stem cells or adult stem cells in, uh, in different neurological conditions, particularly multiple sclerosis. This has been mainly an adoptal it had also driven uh, uh, parallel activities of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, medical tourism, and I think this has to be ruled somehow through uh, properly uh, conducted studies, and we hope this is going to be the answer. So you would have, through combining of several studies, uh, yeah. you would have enough numbers to give. Uh... Yes, this is an international study. Uh, the, the leadership is. Uh, in, in Italy, but also in Canada, by Professor Mark Friedman in Ottawa. Uh, but uh, uh, we will uh, have uh, uh, 14 sites uh, uh, that are uh, uh, in Europe, uh, including uh, Spain, uh, France, uh, UK, uh, Denmark, Switzerland, and Sweden, uh, and Canada, and Australia. And uh, in each nation, in each nation. Uh, 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 an identical study, an identical protocol will be conducted by clinicians and scientists on the same target populations, which are patients with a still an active uh, disease. And then uh, we will, uh, as a real multi-center study, we will uh, pull together the data. There will be a centralized analysis of the MRI data and the clinical data, and we hopefully will come up with uh, the final answer whether or not uh, stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells can be useful for multiple sclerosis. Great. And is this quite a, it's, it's, it's quite a novel concept of doing small studies in several centers and then pulling them together into one study. Is this really done? Uh, to my knowledge, this is the very first time that uh, an academic, uh, uh, an academia uh, sponsor, academia driven uh, multi-center study has been performed indeed uh, Mark and I like to call it uh, a virtual multicentric study because indeed we were not able to uh, obtain uh, uh, funds from a unique sponsor, you know, to run a, a, a phase two clinical trial with uh, 160 patients. You need to have a, a very large budget, we're talking about, uh, you know, several millions. 
and, uh, and therefore it would have been not possible to obtain these funds. So each of us applied to uh, national uh, funding agencies to obtain support and then through the help of uh, the Italian Foundation for Multiple Sclerosis, uh, the MSIF and the Actrims, we were able to collect extra money for coordination, for uh, centralized activities and this will really make, uh, uh, I believe, a, a unique a new uh, pathway or paradigm to uh, address this, uh, uh, I mean, interesting and important uh, scientific and clinical questions that uh, can be uh, uh, very, I mean, that, that it will be very difficult to address uh, if you don't have uh, uh, the industry behind. Thank you, Antonio. Yeah, thank you very much.